What's up guys, it's Johnny O with Tito Tech Tube, and today we're going to look at how you can actually create your own custom 3DS themes. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is to at least have um, the ability to use the homebrew launcher on your 3DS. Um, I'll go ahead and link a video up in the top left or right or whichever side it shows up on to show you guys how you can actually use sound hacks to launch the homebrew launcher on your 3ds no matter what version you're on it works all the way up to 11.3 currently um, so once you have that you can use chmm2 to actually install custom themes to create your custom theme what you're going to, want to do is go to this github page here i'll put the link to this in the description below and you're going to find here just the latest version of the editor and download the zip file here and once you extract that zip file you'll get this executable pop up here. I'm going to show you guys what I've created so far. So this was the uh, Iron Man Civil War theme uh, that I created to use with my 3DS. So I'll show you real quick just an overview of kind of how I did that. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new one here. And so there's a couple of main things. Uh, first thing is you'll I want to have some way to edit an image. Um, so you just go Google for whatever you want to create a theme for, whether it's Iron Man, uh, you know, Legend of Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild theme, anything like that. Search for wallpapers and find something that you like, um, probably a couple of different ones. And once you do that, you want to use Photoshop or GIMP or I think you can even do it in MS Paint, really. You need to be able to edit the actual size of the image. So if you look here under image, uh, it will tell you by each heading here what the recommended sizes are. Um, I recommend you stick with the one in the parentheses here, the smaller file, um, because that makes sure that anything in your image doesn't get cut off um, around the edges. And make sure everything fits in the uh, frame nicely. So let's go ahead and import a top image. And that's the top image I set in mine. And you'll see you can do two different top images. I'm not sure what the, the alternative image is for, to be perfectly honest. I've just started using this. If you go over to the bottom, you see I made an extra wide one here so they can scroll with the uh, bottom screen. And then once you get your images in there, what you can do is hop over here to colors. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and go to image and large icon import. Um, I actually created this little icon file here. And if you go to colors, you see everything's grayed out. You can't actually select anything. So what you want to do first is go to flags and find what colors you want to edit and then enable those. So like if I want to edit these top corner buttons here, I do top corner button color. I set that to enabled. You'll see they turn black. And I can just go over here and I can set whatever colors I actually want these to be. Uh, so you just kind of keep going down this list and do that for everything that you want to adjust the color on. Um, so like you can do the folder color, come over here. What I recommend doing is just find the one you want to uh, change, set the flag for it, go over, set the colors. Because if you start doing them all at once, also you're going to have like 30 different things that need a color set on them. And it's going to get maybe a little bit overwhelming. We try and go through and find all the right things uh, that you need to edit. And so uh, the main thing is just to kind of play around with it, find something that you like, um, something that looks, you know, good in your opinion right all right there we go so that's probably pretty good and you just want to go on so on and so forth kind of like this uh let's see open and close so i'm just going to kind of do the main ones here real quick and i'll use the one that i've already completed to show you how to actually export that out to your 3ds um there's a couple of different ways you can do it um but i'll show you what i found to be the easiest way All right, I'm not going to go through every little thing here, but you guys kind of get the idea. Um, you also have the ability to look background music and sound effects uh, for the theme as well. I haven't actually figured that out yet. I haven't played with that to see what all that involves. Um, but I know you want to create probably something um, looping for that. Um, I'll do a follow-up video if you guys are interested. Hit that like button on the video if you want to see a follow-up on more details how to do the background music, stuff like that. Um, other features that I didn't necessarily cover here. Um, this is just to kind of get you up and running uh, with Usagi so you can start creating your own custom themes uh, as quickly as possible. So once you've got this all done, uh, go ahead and power on your 3DS, uh, go into the homebrew launcher, 
So you've got that done. Uh, first thing you want to do is save. Uh, so we'll go into file, save. And I'll just save this here. You said okay. And then once you save that, go into your 3DS, launch the Homebrew Launcher, and go into CHMM2, uh, the Custom Theme Manager. And then once you're in CHMM2, in Asagi, go to File, Send To, and you want to set this 3DS IP to the IP address of your 3DS. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner of the bottom screen, uh, once you're in CHMM2, it'll actually show you the IP address of the 3DS there on your network. Uh, so as long as your computer and your 3DS are on the same local network, uh, you'll be able to do this. So set that IP address here, and then just click on the CHMM2 button, and you'll see It'll give you the sending icon here and tell you the theme was sent successfully. And then you should see the theme show up on your 3DS almost immediately. And then that's it, guys. You just set the theme and you're all set to go. Uh, so I'll go ahead and at some point, if I haven't already in the video, I'll uh, cut over to a shot of my 3DS with uh, the theme installed. Um, I'll probably actually just use NTR. Uh, to actually capture the screen rather than trying to um, film the screen in my 3DS with uh, my phone or something like that or with my camera. Uh, it'll probably come out better if I just go ahead and stream it. <laughs> so, all right, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Like I said, hit that like button if you want to see a more detailed, um, more in-depth tutorial. I can show you, you know, going into Photoshop and actually editing the images. And I'm going to show you guys how to load custom background music and uh, all that good stuff so go ahead and hit that like button if you like the video hit the dislike if you didn't leave me a comment down below let me know if you want to see another video with a more in-depth tutorial and until next time guys it's johnny o signing off